In this tutorial, I'll show you how to build a blazing fast WordPress website on Cloudways. And Cloudways is one of the best managed cloud hosting solutions that gives you high performing super fast websites. And it's really easy to do. You don't have to worry about any of the complexities of building a website. This tutorial is a part of the complete WordPress course on Udemy. Link to that will be in the description where I teach you how to build a header, how to build a footer, how to pick a color, how to pick a font, and what is the difference between Gutenberg and Elementor, and what is WordPress exactly, and how do you manage different kinds of content, how do you pick your custom icons, how do you pick your custom fonts, how do you pick vectors in your image, and a lot more along with the tips and tricks to build responsive websites. So if you're looking for the complete course, link to that will be in the description. Let's get started. Click the first link in the description to get a domain. If you use the link in the description, I might earn a small commission that will help support the channel. Or you can directly go to namecheap.com and get your domain. Sign up and create an account. And once you're all set, just go to the search box and basically type in the keyword or the name of the website that you're looking for. I currently have Bali on my mind, so I can say something like cool Bali vibes. You can also type the extension if you already have the extension in mind, or you can simply type the keyword and click on search. That will scan for all the available domains and it will show you all the available domains. As you can see, coolbalivibes.com is available and it also shows you the price. You can simply click on add to cart and click on checkout toggle this auto renew on and also toggle this domain protection which is on by default rest all you can leave at the default and click on confirm order and purchase the domain once you buy the domain you can go to your account and click on domains list and that will show you all the domains that you have bought using namecheap and right next to the domain that you just bought I'll just use the domain that I already have, digitalalgorithm.com. You can see auto renew and pr protection is automatically turned on. I'll click on manage and we'll leave this tab open and we'll come back and click the second link in the description to open Cloudways. Again, that's an affiliate link. If you want to support my channel, you can definitely use that link or just go to cloudways.com and just create a free account. Once you're all set, you'll have this dashboard screen. Once you create an account and log into Cloudways, you may have some on-screen pop-ups. You can use that or you can dismiss all of that and start from the scratch like what I'm showing you right now. So click on servers. As you can see, I do not have any servers. So this is where we launch our server or the hosting solution. So that will have our server and also the platform that we want to build our website on. So I'll just click on launch now and it will ask us to pick the application and under this WordPress is selected by default. If it's not, you can click the drop down and pick WordPress, whatever the latest version is available. You can always update your WordPress later. Why are we picking WordPress? Well, WordPress powers 40% of internet websites and it is really powerful, really flexible. And that's why we are going to build our website on top of this platform. The whole hosting solution will handle everything for you. So you don't worry about that. And you can just give it a name. I'm just going to call it my cool website or let's call it digital algo website. You can give it any name. You can always change it later. Now you can name your server. Again, I'll call it digital algo server just for your own identification let's give it a title or you can just leave it at the default you can pick any of these hosting services such as DigitalOcean, Walter, Linode, AWS but for the sake of this tutorial we'll just use DigitalOcean now these are all blazing fast hosting solutions on which WordPress will be installed and you can pick any of this and you cannot go wrong. All of this are just amazing. And from here, it will ask you to pick the server size. Basically, the processing power 
for a typical website 2 gigs of ram especially if you're starting out is more than enough for your server so you can just leave it at the default and if you're planning to maybe start an e-commerce website or something maybe you can get started with 4 gigs of ram you can always change it later so once you pick the size you can see a monthly estimate and you can pick where your server is stationed now let's say you're having your business mostly in usa you can pick new york or let's say your customers are mostly from india you can pick a bangalore based server if you're not really sure just pick any random server since it's a cloud server it's really fast and you don't have to worry much so for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna pick bangalore but again since it's close to the country where i'm right now i'll just pick bangalore but it really shouldn't matter so once you pick all these and enter all the details just click on launch now and that will add your server so it will give you this little pop-up saying the server will be ready in seven minutes so i'll wait for it to be completed and come back and resume the tutorial okay once your server is live it will show something like this so you'll find this www and there's this folder button which basically is your project now if you go to projects you can see all your servers and applications within it shows basically i have one server and one application associated with that particular project right basically it's a way to organize your resources that's it again back to servers and i'll just click on this ww button and these are the names that we've given so to the server we gave this name and to the website we gave this this is just for our identification i'll click on it and that will open up a whole new range of settings now the first thing we need to do is to click on domain management click on add domain and just add the domain that you have purchased from namecheap in this case i'm going to use this digitalalgorithm.com enter it along with your extension and just click on add domain so that will add that particular domain to this particular server basically we're pointing that domain to this server now once you added your domain just click on this three ellipses button and click on make primary and click on set as primary remember i asked you to keep the domain tab open on namecheap if you have closed it just go back to your domains list from your account or click on domains list right next to the domain you purchased just click on manage and click on advanced dns now you might see a couple of records just delete them and we need to add few records to point this domain to the application or to the website that we've just installed on this server so in your cloud based dashboard make sure you're under servers and the app basically the website that you've just created and click on access details under application management and on the right hand side below application credentials you'll have this ip address simply click this to copy and go back to your namecheap website and once you're in the advanced dns of the custom domain under records just click on add new record choose a record from the drop down under host type at the rate and here just paste the ip address that you've just copied and leave this at automatic and just click on save changes again do this click on plus a record and here just enter www once you've pasted the same ip address just click this green check mark and that will save this so basically now we're pointing our domain to the hosting or the website that we've created in cloudways we have to wait for some time and you need to use a website called whatsmydns.net to verify if it's propagated now if you don't understand what a propagation means just don't worry just type in the domain minus digitalalgorithm.com and here just pick a and click on search and you have to see all the check marks from here you can see i have a couple of x marks here so i may have to wait a little bit to for the propagation to complete 
and once the propagation or once everything is green in here i can proceed with the next step it might take around 2 to 3 hours so again depending on the type of propagation you can also do the same for this now if i type www.digitalalgorithm.com which is the www version that we have added in here again most of it is in green checks only with few so we might have to wait for some time and try it later so once you've added the a records over here come back to your cloudways dashboard and click on ssl certificate and let's encrypt is selected by default just type in your email address i'm going to type in my email address It'll ask you to enter domain name i've just entered the domain name you can leave this box unchecked as of now and click on install certificate and you can just wait until it finishes now if it doesn't complete it might have to do something with your dns being propagated again let's see what happens i'll resume this tutorial once this pop up goes away so within like 5 minutes the ssl certificate is installed on this domain that means the propagation is also completed and that should totally work like it or it took like 10 minutes and you'll see a screen something like this just leave everything at the default and on the left hand side when you click on application settings scroll all the way down also make sure that https redirection is turned on it's turned on or enabled by default so our website is live congratulations click on access details and this is where you find all the details related to your website under the admin panel it gives you the url that you need to click or type to access your website you can see it's digitalalgorithm.com forward slash wpa hyphen admin you can remember it or bookmark it or simply click this and the credentials this is the username you can simply click to copy this password again you can click to copy the password and just paste it here and log in click on login i'll click on save password and that will take us to our brand new wordpress website just like that we have a blazing fast and fresh wordpress website ready to work with thank you so much for watching and if you want to learn how to build a website from the ground up check out my complete wordpress udemy course link to that will be in the description and i'll also be sharing about that on the channel in the community page so stay tuned for that and once you take the course i'm pretty sure you'll master most of wordpress and it will become a solid foundation to your wordpress web design game